Hi, my fabulous friends. It's Donna, and today I'm talking to those of you born in the year of the dragon about what's coming up for October. But before we get to October, let's talk a little bit about September. Holy smokes, that was a challenging month. We had two eclipses, Mercury retrograde in Virgo, and we had Jupiter leaving Virgo. So the protection that Jupiter had over Virgo uh, was dissipating throughout the month, and now it's gone into Libra for the first time in 12 years. And I know a lot of you have gone through some major upsets in your life because of all of this going on. Uh, this is a time where the universe uh, helps us uh, get out of our stuck positions. And so for those of you who took the eclipse directly, it would have brought some major change in your life or and still is bringing some change since the effects of the eclipse can last for months and months. And for those of you who didn't get the direct hit, you probably know somebody who maybe lost their job or maybe is in some relationship issues or suddenly decided they're moving cross country or something like that. All of this is a direct result of the universe helping us become unstuck. You know, wherever we were, we weren't making the progress that the universe thought that we should be making on the goals we told the universe that we wanted. And so all of this comes down to an opportunity for the universe to you know, give us that little proverbial kick to get us going. Now, this is probably a surprise for those of you who are born in the year of the dragon, since you guys don't usually get kicked by anything. You are the most powerful of all of the Chinese zodiac, and therefore you kind of rule. And so you also tend to, being the one who can fly, uh, look at everything that's going on in the earth and say to yourselves, well, you know what, I'm going to look at the big picture, I'm kind of above the petty stuff, but sometimes it is the little things that can really trip us up. It is those little habits that can either really help us or really slow us down. And so now we're going into October and we're going to be in the month of dog. Now this, the dog energy is a direct opposite of your energy, which means that the entire world is focused more on dog energy and ignoring dragon and dragon doesn't necessarily like to be ignored. So, but before you breathe fire and turn everybody into, you know, little charcoal briquettes, I want you to consider that this is your time to look at your long-term plans, look at your, uh, how you are using your time and see if you're using it the best possible way. Are you frittering, frittering, is that a good word? Are you just wasting time on, you know, things like uh, just watching TV or just playing video games or something like that? Are you using those things as an escape instead of, you know, having the downtime that sometimes we need, but then coming up out of that downtime and going off and being creative and being proactive and getting the job done? Now, this opposition energy with Doug is also affecting your relationships and your business partnerships. It is time to look at each of your relationships, whether they be love relationships, friendships, acquaintances, or some sort of cooperative business relationship and see if both parties are happy, if you're getting something out of what you're doing, if they feel that they're getting something out of what uh, is happening so that you can see if this is a real mutual win-win because if it's not it's really time to let that partnership go and move on to more constructive relationships. Now this is also a time where you want to look to balance your life that is a work-life balance or perhaps you have been maybe not spending enough time taking care of the physical body maybe you've been all up in your head doing mental things uh, or perhaps you're doing lots and lots of physical stuff but maybe you're not spending enough time in prayer so this is just a month where you want to look at the balance of things and say all right well Again, where am I spending my time and is this the best use of my time?
Now, Jupiter has gone into Libra, and as I said, first time in 12 years, and this is going to highlight your ability to communicate. You are going to have more opportunities for speaking, for standing up in meetings, for stating what you want. You are going to have people calling you out of the blue and saying, hey, let's get together. You, If you've had a good relationship with siblings, that is going to improve. But if you've had a difficult relationship with siblings, that is going to need your attention. Now, Jupiter is going to be in Libra for an entire year, so this is not a rush. But during this first period, you can plant the seeds to make things really happen, especially when it comes to communication and siblings. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.